We cannot be happy just with ownership. We want control. My sister is speaking about black people who are involved in some of these companies. You know, I always see black people who call themselves executives, who call themselves owners of this and that, and in reality it's not true. I don't know of a single person, a single black person who owns anything with control and influence, not even Patrice. Patrice will never help you with anything. He's so hopeless. He can't help you because he's not in control. They claim to be in control. They are not in control. They have surrendered their blackness and they are being remote controlled by white monopoly capital. So we want a genuine black ownership and you must be in control. That's what we are fighting for. We must not be shown some cosmetic black success. People who have agreed to be Catons. I don't know of a thing. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm still to see that person. When we do the, the side visits, they bring black sisters and brothers to come and make presentations before parliament committees. And because this parliament now is different, it has got some questioning people. After presentation, we go in and we ask very difficult questions. Black managers and leaders can answer because they are not in charge. But because they said parliament is coming today, it will be you who present this. And then they say, this is the senior, the most senior person in this company. Okay, what is the, a simple question, what is the turnover of this company? Ah, uh, you see, uh, that one I will give to my colleague. And then I must celebrate that. I'm not going to celebrate that. I want, not even Cyril Ramaphosa is a genuine black success. Cyril Ramaphosa is a puppet of the Oppenheimers. They made him form the NUM after the commissioner said black uh, unions must be allowed and they must have the power to negotiate with the employer. The NUM was sponsored by the Oppenheimers and Cyril was given that task to go and form it. Cyril was working in the legal office or some offices not even underground from the University of the North. Then from there he was given the power to form NUM. From there he was fronted everywhere. They wanted to impose him on Mandela as the deputy president of South Africa and the ANC refused. That's how Tabombe became the deputy president and Cyril Ramaphosa got demoralized and left the ANC. Cyril Ramaphosa, because of that anger, did not even attend Mandela's inauguration because the agenda he was, represented, he was representing got defeated. I want genuine black. And black is not implementation. It's about your thinking and your commitment to liberate black nation.